everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, morning, evening, middle of the night, whatever you've got going on. Um, a little bit of shakiness on the camera just because I'm using that fancy dancy gooseneck thing attached to my tripod. And Apollo actually just left the room, so... Hmm, interesting. Um, but if you are here, thank you so much for, uh, well, you're here, you're watching it. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Um, what am I up to today? You've got drills, you've got empty containers, you've got a funnel. There's a couple other things that I'll need, including some stickers, some markers, and, um, and probably some background music to keep me company or maybe somebody's whip and chat or vlog. Um, but I am actually gonna be doing a kidding up and this is Beyond Good and Evil from Jaded Gem Shop and the artist is Hannah Mosher, AKA Iteration Crafts over on Instagram. So this is a mystery kit from Jaded Gem Shop. That's why you have this opaque cover over top. Um, and then what you'll do is, or what I might do, is either section off this film or peel it back as I go and do my best not to look and put my double-sided release paper down. That seems like a little much since this is already opaque, but then I was like, all of my all of my washi tape is fancy and I don't know if I wanna use it all up on doing the sectioning. So I may still use, oh my gosh, sorry about that. Apollo, there he goes, he's laying down. Um, so yeah, I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna section the canvas off, but I'm gonna at least go ahead and get this kitted up because I'd like to start working on it sooner than later. Um, this is a square drill canvas, once again, 70 by 90 centimeter with 51 colors. I can't really show you too much detail here. It's a mystery print, so you've got your little mystery image here, no color to any of the symbols, and no color to the symbols other underneath either. But this is an AI art image that was, um, was um, rendered or kind of put uh, put together using AI art and then Iteration Crafts, aka Hannah, comes back in and just double checks things, touches things up, that type of stuff, and really makes it a complete image. But I saw this image, I fell in love with it, so I know what it is, but it's been over a month since I've seen it, so I'm having a hard time piecing together like where things are gonna go, and I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, this is my very first mystery kit, and I can't wait to get started. Um, so I'm gonna do this as part of a jaded jam sesh, um, meaning this is all gonna be in time lapse with some chill music behind us. I've been um, utilizing this format for some jaded gem shop kits um, in the early stages, just so I can get through some of the uh, the bulk of a project because these are pretty big kits that I've ordered, um, Senorita being another one, and then the other, what was the last one? that? Um, there's another AI art image. I don't remember the name of it. Um, that's also pretty large, but they're very confetti heavy kits, which isn't a problem. In fact, I'm kind of falling in love with that style, um, working on Senorita but they are pretty confetti heavy kits that are gonna take me a number of months to complete, but I still wanna show some good progress on them. So I was trying to figure out the best way to do that. I'm still workshopping this idea of jaded jam sesh because time lapses go fast. So in order to get a decent length time lapse video, you have to do a lot. Like it take, you know, an hour can fit into, you know, 20, 30 seconds of content. So. It actually is the opposite of what I was thinking, but I'm still going to push through. I think it's a good idea, and it's a good way to condense an entire kidding up in maybe a one, maybe two songs that you'll hear. Um, I think probably just one song, to be honest. But um, just put on some chill music at the end of this. I'm going to come back, and we're going to talk a little bit about the kidding up process, how I felt it went with um, how Jade has her, um, her drills package. We've got four bags here. Just go over some of the colors. If I have decided to do any enhancements, which uh, as of right now, I don't believe I will be, and any other final notes. I'll also select my washi tape for this kit and maybe a matching, um, a matching, uh, well, I guess it's hard to match because this is just white. Ooh, all that, I guess I do have a, a, a 
drill tray to pick then. Uh, pick a drill tray. That way I can take a start photo of this for when I do actually get to it. Um, I'm not sure how how quickly I'll start putting drills on this necessarily. I'd like to keep focusing on Senorita for the next few weeks and then transition to Cozy Evening, which will put me through Christmas. So this might not be a start until next year, early next year, but who knows, maybe I'll have some sort of ridiculous amount of time to complete Senorita. Oh gosh, even saying that is like, seriously. But who knows, I have some three, four day weekends during the holidays I might be able to push through. But this will be um, a kit that I uh, work on at, probably after Senorita. I'll commit to that. After Senorita, I'll start working on this, but it'll be nice to have it kitted up and ready to go. Um, because I do have a number of other whips that I keep setting aside for other projects. I've got Star Maker has a decent amount on it, Del Sol by Mystical Diamond Art, Crimson Oracle from, um, from Craftably. So a lot of other stuff going on in the background, not really going on, it's just sitting there waiting in the wings. But when I saw how this mystery kit was put together with this opaque film on top, um, and the fact that the drill uh, field looked just as clear as it does on my Senorita kit, um, I just couldn't, I couldn't help it. I, I have to put this together. And it's artwork that I selected and had made into a custom canvas. So of course I'm gonna be beholden to that as well. So anyway, I'm gonna stop yammering because I wanna keep these um, these Jaded Jam Sesh videos relatively short for those that like a quick hit of some content. Um, but yeah, let me finish getting together my materials. We'll put on some nice music and we're going to get all of these kitted up in these containers here. These, this is a 120 piece art dot container set. So let's go ahead, get this going and listen to some music. We'll see you at the end. ever so slightly sorry this maybe I need to this gooseneck is interesting um, I'm sorry to pause you I meant to go straight through the entire kitting up I just wanted to make a couple quick notes just in case I forget and it's something I noticed on my previous kitting up with the with Senorita from Jaded Gem Shop is even though you have these bags numbered one through four um, which is very helpful for in terms of like storing the the drills um, that doesn't necessarily mean that all of that color or all of that series, it's not in numerical order. So you're not gonna have lowest to highest, one, two, three, and four. They're all kind of mixed up. So you kind of have to open all of your bags and sort them all. The other, the, the pro that I see with um, how Jade's manufacturer does these drills is you're never gonna have two colors in the same strand. Like these are all 938, but you're not gonna have a next, another one attached to it. But the thing that is a little bit interesting and sometimes can trip me up is like, for instance, okay, so like look at, look at this bag of 938 here. These are all fairly small bags, but you can see they're relatively full, right? But then we get to 930, 976, and we've got these three bags with just a handful of each one, like could have all easily fit into one. And in fact, they can do it. I mean, we're seeing it here. So I'm not exactly sure why that happens where we get these bags that just aren't completely filled. The same like with this 165, like why wouldn't we just have one bag of that? So there's little things like that that you wanna be aware of. And my tip to you, cause I didn't do this the first time, open everything and I sort them all by number, not perfect, but like, 100s, 300s, 400s. Um, these are 900s, so they can go with these 900s. So 900, 600, 7, 8, there's 5s, and then down on the ground I've got my uh, 3,000 uh, whatevers, then my 33s, and my 37s, and then my 38s. So that's how I have it organized. Otherwise, there is a chance that you could miss just like a, like for instance, let's see where we have one. Like look at this 938. This little bag of 938 might be in the one of four and the rest of these in this big long chain could be in the three of four. So you won't notice it until you get there and it's like, oh man, do I have room for that? Do I need to make an, an extra container just for that tiny little bit? So I suggest 
Um, for my own peace of mind, what I do is I sort them like this and then I just go in order. That way I make sure that I have all the drills out in front of me. I'm not missing any bags. It's all good to go. So one, um, so it's just something to keep in mind. I guess, you know, I don't know if, you know, Jade ends up watching this, I would say, you know, if it, there is an option for them to do a little bit better of a job of consolidating these bags and keeping the strands together, I don't know if that's possible. But it's an easy fix. I just think that we could save a decent amount of plastic waste if we if we didn't have stuff like this. So anyway, just my little thought. I'm going to go ahead and keep going with the kidding up. Hey there everyone, it's Anthony back with a final clip. Um, you might be thinking, why is he working on a kit all of a sudden and we were just kidding up something? Um, well, I um, actually didn't record the kind of send off or the goodbye from the kitting up of the uh, that mystery kit from Jaded Gem Shop. Um, and that actually uh, was a few days ago or a couple of days ago, I just, it was late by the time I finished that and I was like, I'm tired. I just want to go to bed. So I was like, I'll just finish. I'll just do the send off and just kind of the end tomorrow. And then tomorrow turned into the day after tomorrow, which turned into the day after that, which turned into today. So I already had my camera set up on the mount to do some time lapse filming. This is Senorita, also by Jaded Gem, Jaded Gem Shop. So I was like, well, I'll just, I was uploading that, um, that kidding up or the jam sesh, and I was like, uh, I should probably film that. So here we are. Um, I just want to quickly have a, I just had a couple of notes on that kit. Um, I don't know if you could tell in the time lapses that I did for that one, but um, there was quite a bit of static on, um, I think it was like four different colors were pretty static prone, one of which you can probably see me, if you do end up watching it, um, you can see me fussing with for a little bit and it was quite a pain. So what I did is I ended up putting a little dot next to that DMC code on the legend. That way I know that when I'm working on that kit that I'm probably gonna need um, some dryer sheets or something like that to help out um, when I'm working on those colors. There was one that was incredibly, incredibly static. Um, so I know a lot of people say, oh, well, that's just a sign of good quality or it could be the weather. But what I noticed, I don't know if any of that's true. I think I really do think it's a manufacturing thing because there was like a strand of uh, a strand of one particular DMC. So 
like some of them would be totally fine but then there was a couple extra baggies thrown in i think they were maybe came from a different strand or something like that and those were really staticky so i'm like how is it that the exact same color from the exact same kit that's been sitting in the same room and shipped the same way how is one bag you know totally fine and the other one not there i think there's got to be something with like you know the the tumblers that are used to fill the bags and stuff i think i don't know maybe they're they're just like have some sort of like charge to them i don't know there's something going on um i don't think static is always going to be equated to like the quality of the drill or the temperature outside or anything like that because this kit was really just all over the place there was no consistency on what was staticky and what wasn't um so i i don't know it's it's interesting i don't mind it i just have to be i mind it when i'm kidding up it's a real pain <laughs> but um but when i'm actually working on the kit as long as I can use like a dryer sheet or something like that just to um, just to clean the or you know remove some of that static that I'm not super concerned about it so I'll keep you updated as I'm working on that kit when that does happen as to um, if it's if it's being if it's something that I'm getting frustrated with while I'm actually working on the kit but I think I'll be okay um, other than that, I wasn't missing any colors. Everything looked fine. Drill quality looked amazing, as it always does, or it seems to be with uh, with Jade and Gem Shop. So other than that, really good experience kitting up, and I'm really looking forward to starting on that at some point next year. I keep um, I keep saying I have to get Senorita done before I start diving into any more Jade and Gem Shop kits. Who knows if I'll stick to that. Um, as you can see, there's just a lot of confetti here so it's pretty slow going but um but I, I am enjoying it every time I grab it I'm like it's like working on a puzzle so I've got this going on and then later on in the month here in a couple of weeks I'll be working on cozy evening for jingle drills um and yeah that'll be that so uh, let me know if you have any questions comments I hope you enjoyed this little jam sesh while we got that kit put together and hopefully you will see it eventually <laughs> on the channel I'm I I'm, think that might be a fun one to do in the spring um, because I really do want to highlight that AI artwork so um, let me know if you have any questions comments like I said um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. Otherwise, thank you again so much for watching and happy placing. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.